covering Wisconsin weather for 21 years. Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland. We've had a warm start to October, as you can see with our current conditions. All of those temperatures are above normal, and that warmth is going to continue for the rest of the work week. After that, some big changes. We're going to be looking at highs mainly in the lower to mid 70s for tomorrow, Wednesday and Thursday. Then a cold front moves through. Behind that cold front, sharply colder weather as we head into Saturday and Sunday with highs only in the mid 50s. Today, temperatures were running about 5 to 10 degrees above normal for this time of year. We had upper 60s to lower 70s, cooler where the clouds held on for most of the day, including the Appleton and Oshkosh area where highs were only in the lower to mid 60s. And right now, most of us are looking at temperatures in the lower to mid 60s. In Appleton, the skies are finally starting to break up. It is 63 degrees. In Green Bay, we've had a lot of sunshine over the last couple of hours after a cloudy late morning and early afternoon. And we're looking at northeast winds at around 5 to 10 miles per hour. The satellite picture shows sunshine this morning giving way to a lot of clouds right across east central Wisconsin, right where my hand is. <laughs> Surrounding that, it was mainly sunny all day long as high pressure slowly built in from the north. We have dry weather despite the clouds across the state of Wisconsin, but there is an area of showers and thunderstorms, some severe out across South Dakota and Nebraska. That is with our next weather maker that will push through here Wednesday morning. Now out ahead of that system today, some warm weather, high temperatures mainly in the 70s and 80s to our west, and we're going to continue to see some more warm weather. The first three days this month have been running above normal, and tomorrow will be day number four. We're going to be looking at highs in the upper 60s to lower 70s, and then day number five arrives on Wednesday with highs getting into the lower and mid 70s. So after that chance of a shower or a thunderstorm Wednesday morning, we will break into a mixture of sun and clouds as we head into the afternoon. Precision cast shows low clouds and fog kind of redeveloping across the area later on tonight into tomorrow morning. So considerable cloudiness to start your Tuesday, but as we move into the afternoon, we'll see pockets of sunshine with a gusty southeast wind. Overall, it will be a quiet day except for the threat for some fog during the morning. Now it's not quiet across the Caribbean. The tropics are active. Here's a look at Hurricane Matthew now churning across the Caribbean. It is moving straight north, so it's going to have a major impact on Jamaica, Cuba, and also Haiti before it eventually works its way into the Bahamas. Here's a look at the latest National Hurricane Center forecast track, and you can see the hurricane is going to move north and then northwest through the Bahamas and then north towards South and North Carolina as we head into Friday and Saturday. And then obviously it's going to continue to move north after that. This is something we'll be watching closely right now. It's packing maximum sustained winds at 140 miles per hour, so it's a major hurricane. Tonight, areas of low clouds and fog. Lows will be in the upper 40s to lower 50s. That fog could be locally dense. Tomorrow, after lots of clouds, we'll see pockets of clouds and sunshine as we move into the afternoon. Look for high temperature pretty close to 70 degrees. A shower or a thunderstorm early Wednesday and then some sun and clouds. On Thursday, sun and clouds and then a chance for a shower or a thunderstorm as a cold front approaches. That cold front moves through on Friday. Morning highs in the lower 60s and then falling. And then look at that for Saturday and Sunday. Highs only in the 50s. In fact, we could be looking at our first widespread frost or freeze Sunday and Monday morning. My three degree guarantee for tomorrow is 70. If I can hit that high within three degrees, we will donate $100 to Aspiro. Unfortunately, Stacy, we did not do that today. I forecast 73. The actual high was 69. Those clouds that came in during the early afternoon put a stop on the thermometer. So a rocky start, but yeah. you know, we'll it's, turn things around. Yeah, it's not how you start, it's how you finish, exactly, right? Exactly, and you're going to finish strong. <laughs> and right. Of course, we are excited to partner with Ospiro. They're very deserving of this extra help. That's right. Here's a look at what they do 